Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's and name Sheep's the game as you know In today's video we have a batch of lambs, not just these ones There's some down the back there as well They're going to United Auction Stirling today for a store sale I have just decided this last week, let's get as many lambs away stored as we can Because, who am I kidding, we have far too much work on Lizzie's going to have a kid soon, scanning starts in the new year what we can do with all these lambs. It's enough running about after the use. So this is the first batch that's going. Well, we've sold some already stored, as you know, but this is the next batch. I think we'll have about 40 odd. I'm not actually right sure, but just about to put them through here. Get a count of them, get the tags read, get them on the old. Oh, oh, fuck watch. <laughs> um, and it, yeah, let's see what we get for them. It's exciting. Trade, the fat price, the, the prime price, has been back recently, good 10 pence last week per kilo. So will it affect the stores? I'm a farmer, so I'm not very optimistic. <laughs> but we're about to find out. And as always, when we're moving sheep off, we're gonna use our herd watch, stroke flock watch app, and we're gonna go to plus. Move sheep off, sheep movement out, I should say, and that's today's date, it's the 24th. God knows when this video goes out, but it is the 24th today, and they're going to be sold at market. Now, we don't know the buyer details or the sale price yet, but that can just be added in a retrospect, if that's the correct word. Now, Marissa's going to read some tags. Go for it. You see, I don't know if you can hear the beeping, but every time she reads a tag, selects another animal there. Are we needing a couple of tags? There's one missing a tag there, I see. Okay, and we'll have a look. Anything else missing a tag? No. Okay, so Marissa's just going to put these extra tags in. We've just already read them on the reader here. But that's 27 in this batch going to the market. And obviously there's the two new ones that we've just about to add in. Are you crack on, Marissa? I'm just chatting away here. So we press next. Purpose. Oh, this is adding these lambs that we're selling. Animal type. Born on flock. Season born. This spring, date of birth doesn't really matter, nobody cares for a store lamb, and that's it. Job done. And then that will give me this wee group moved out, and what I'll do is, the next group, I'll do another movement out for, and there'll be different sale prices anyway, so that'll work out quite well. I'll stand here and shout instructions, which is actually the far harder job, folk don't realise. Much more stressful. Doddle. Yeah. Did they do that at college? No. No, there we go, life skills. Right. Let's get these loaded, get the next batch up and get them dagged out. Everyone in um, America and Canada, they love these trailers with the decks like this. Quite good. I can't believe Eiffel Williams hasn't got these sent out there yet. They're everywhere else, I believe. We're off, another trip to Stirling, here we go. Well, it's a busy looking day here, sheep fans. Which is a good thing, there obviously must be cattle being sold as well, I think, judging the amount of big lorries that are here in the queue to get into the loading bays. I don't know if you can hear the cows actually, I can hear them. I call them cows, but they'll be beasts. Kai, would be more accurate. There's a Van Fersher there. Mr. Smith from Home Buyer. Nice shiny new trailer in front of me here as well. They've not lost the bar at the top yet. I lost mine pretty fast after I got it. Sat it down somewhere and then never lifted it. That happens. Right, let's get a slot and get back down here. Okay, it's flat out here, so we better get this trailer out of the way. We'll come back and give the guys the tickets for these lambs. I don't think we're ready for it yet anyway. Carnage. Look at that for finding a beautiful spot. Snug as a glove. It is a busy, busy place here today. So one thing with these lambs is they'll need sorted out into batches because there's some Scotch meals, some Cheevet meals, some Texels all mixed together, some Charlies as well. So we'll get them all split up. While I'm waiting to get put through, I might just try and do some of that. Some racket in here today, a lot of cattle. Who'd have cows? So any Texels I want out of here, 
This is my Texo here. I would say that it is a smaller one right enough. That's a Texo there. The Texos of course out of my Mule Yows. Cheviot Mules out of my Cheviot Yows. That's why we call them a Cheviot Mule because they're crossed. The, the father's a blue faced Leicester. And don't be wrong, some, some of the Cheviot Mules are off a Texo cross blue. So picking out the difference can be quite difficult sometimes. There must be ewe lambs for sale as well. You see these little guys coming by. They've been coloured up. Some wee ewe lambs. Oh, yeah, that or they've been sold store because they're a bit smaller. I don't know what the story is there. But we're just waiting to get taken to our pens. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Like, there's some noise. I think these are a lot of... Uh, I'm guessing with the amount of noise, they're like fresh weaned calves. I would guess when they're making so much noise, they're just shouting for their mums. Right, lammies. Good pen of lambs here. Nice clean looking Texels. We've got some Suffolks here. Some more Suffolks. More Texels here. Good clean pens. Boys flat out, hard at it. Great pen of lambs there. Tremendous. They're all getting sorted into their lots. And we're up here right on the outskirts. And the cattle are taking up the rest of the sale. So as I often do, I'm, I've just turned up that are 10 minutes before the sale starts. So the guys are flat out getting the, the final preparations done. Here's a lovely pup coming here. Blue Texel, quite a smash of that. I don't know what's on today actually. I'm seeing breeding sheep, I'm seeing tops, I'm seeing store lambs. Yeah, it's all on the go, but I'm gonna have a wee wander in here and see these guys sorting these lambs out. Let me just find out how I get in here. Cracking pen of store lambs here. Like I thought my lambs were looking good now I see these ones. Don't stand in front of this man, Cammy, you're just holding him back. He's working hard. Young Robbie here on the shedding gate. No pressure, don't look at me. Don't turn around. <laughs> no pressure under the watchful eye of the gaffer here. Learning from the master. And he's, he's working, not so easy this, he's working a three-way shed, trying to split these lambs into correct batches. But when you actually look at these lambs, like they are fairly even lambs. Okay, these are maybe the smaller ones coming through here. But, you know, there's not much between these two pens here. Really good, tight skin, clean, shapey lambs. These will be a, a premium in a store sale, without a doubt. I'm sure you guys can hear on the mics the, the racket from these calves behind me here. Like, there's... Every pen over there is filled with calves and it. it's a, a big old auction. So there's quite a few in, so there's quite a racket, so definitely going to stick over this side a bit more. I mean, the sale is just about to start, so what we'll do is we'll get a seat, see how the trade goes, we'll watch a few sold, and I'll make my predictions, and we'll see how we go. Okay, scratch that, we're not going to see many sold, because we are really high up in the sale. When I saw we are paying 110, I was thinking we'd be further down, but it's starting at paying 100 odd, so yeah, we are, we're like eighth into the sale today, which is quite good, means I've got home nice and early, which is fantastic. So, right now we're just splitting out the Charlies from the Texels. Okay, first stage of the process, into the scales for these lambs. Sixteen for the first pen. Stay outside till they get them weighed. Aye, sixteen is for slow, aye.
Cheap, cheap at mules. So just like that, sheep fans, we are in and out, back at the car, job done, nice and early in the sale. Trade was good, you know, lambs straight off the grass, still at this time of year, they've not cost me much to get into that point. It's from now on they start getting expensive to keep over the winter. It does make you think though, if you remember a few weeks back we brought in lambs, I think they were 36 kilos, and average 89 pounds. If we just brought all these in back then, would we get more? Uh, at least the same. You know, it's like you've kept them all this extra time for maybe a pound more. Is it worth it? Probably not. In fact, if anything, it'll be a pound less because the average was 88 pounds. But that's sheep farming. It's, you know, a lot of gambling, a lot of playing your cards right. On that day, it was an exceptional price I got for the lambs. Today's price, a very fair price. And big shout to Richard Close who bought them all. He was under a bit of pressure because his nephew Lewis is such a big sheep fan. <laughs> Anyway, that's us for this one, sheep fans. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please do check out the merch store. The shearing hoodies are probably going to be about sold out by the time I get this video out because they've been going crazy. But we've loads of great stuff on there for Christmas. So do check it out. And thanks for watching.